Hey, Sneaky Links again tonight. What I'm going to do now is rip some stuff to your little stick, as we say to say. Want some music, don't you have to play while you go along? Now, in F Puppy Before Fomp 3, we got Aqualung. Really, really, really good. The first time we got really a, a sort of dedicated music player, come library, come do what you want to to do stuff with music, shall we say. Now, there's no easy way for the the average user to actually do this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to the menu, go to multimedia, and we go to Asunder. Asunder is a really, really good program for ripping. So, ripping your audio tracks to your drive, your stick, your hard drive, or whatever you're doing from. So, I've crossed out all them tracks there, and I'm just going to do it one track. Now, I've made a My Music folder in root. And I'll specify the drive we're going to do from. So for me, it's Dev SRO, so no problem. You go to choice of MP3 or OG. <coughs> now, OG's really, really good. Now, I like OG, but if you've got a portable music player like an iPod, etc., it won't play them. So if you're that sort of guy, you need to do the MP3. But what I'm going to do in this video is do it in OG. There we go. I'm going to keep it at 8, the average is 6. Not a problem. Og is good for me, I think. So anyway, back to it. All you basically do is click on RIP, and it will start ripping it all for you. Now, bearing in mind I'm actually capturing the video and doing everything on the Puppy Linux on a stick here. We're doing quite well, I think. It's a single core machine I'm using. There's no dual core or quad core, so it's ripping it through it. Look, and as you can see, what it does, it starts ripping the first bit, then starts encoding and stops the drive. I've stopped it a little bit here, to be really honest with you. But there we go, no problem. I'll just look at that. Should we look at it a bit longer? Yeah, oh, we will look a bit longer. It's nearly done. That's, that's, an album actually took, doing to the stick I'm using today, uh, I, I timed an album around about 40 minutes, which is pretty bad. But it's a really, really old USB stick. I tried it on a really new one and it whizzed for it, so you know, don't worry about it. It's just the way the, the system's set up. So we created a file, there we go, we can come out of Asunder. We'll go down, and we're going to open up something else now, and you know what it is. Here we go, it's going to be Aqualung of course, because we want to add our files to our music player. So we go to Multimedia, Aqualung, there we go. I've got no CDs in the drive, but I'm going to add a file. Now, there's my file. There you go. But I'm going to specify what I've got there. So it's an OG. So I'll click on OG. There it is. You highlight it and you just open it. And there we go. We're in our playlist. Now these will stay in your playlist all the time unless you make different playlists. So I'm going to click on play. Now you can't hear this for various reasons, otherwise we'll get chucked off. Really, won't we? So I can't play you any audio. Play is really good. As you can see, we've got a volume up there. I've got balance a bit off on there, Blimey. and it's ripped at 231, so that's really, really good. No problem at all. Oggy's a better system anyway, as, as far as I'm concerned, but it just doesn't play to a lot of, a lot of uh, players that you take around with you, like iPods, etc. So there we go. That was really simple too, wasn't it? Really, really simple. And what you'll find is Aqualung will stay open while you're playing, unless you actually quit it from the bar down here. So you can actually do your other work and play all your songs. Sneaky Linux out.